Welcome to this demonstration of how to work with vApp templates in the vCloud Director tenant portal. The vApp template is a collection of virtual machines that have a set of data and applications configured. The vApp itself is transportable and can be integrated as a vApp template into a catalog and therefore shared across our organization. The advantage of a vApp template is that we can easily deploy and recreate consistently configured workload items within the organization. Once the applications within a vApp are finalized, a vApp must be stopped before it can be uploaded into the catalog. Within the vCloud Director Tenant Portal, we can interact with the vApp in the Data Centers section and then selecting vApps from the left menu. To import the vApp into a catalog, choose the vApp you want to create a template from and add to a catalog. Click the Actions menu and select Add to Catalog. Select the catalog you want to add the vApp template to and you can change the name of the vApp if you like. Click OK and the vApp template is copied to the vCloud Director Tenants catalog. New instances of this vApp can now be easily deployed or shared with other organizations inside the vCloud Director organization from this catalog. To verify that the vApp template has been properly deployed, navigate to the Libraries page and select vApp templates from the left menu. Once a vApp template exists, a user with the proper permissions can download the template or deploy a vApp from the template. Or open the vApp template from the vCloud Director tenant portal. If the vApps template is no longer needed anymore, it can be easily deleted from the organization catalog. Back on the Libraries page of the vCloud Director Tenant Portal, let's see how we can manage the vApp template. From the Context menu of the vApp template, you can select to either create a new vApp, download the vApp, for example to transfer it to a different NFS share or central repository, or you can delete the vApp template. When you choose to download the vApp template, you can choose to use the OVA format, and that you want to preserve identity information, such as MAC addresses. In the recent Tasks pane on the bottom of the Tenant UI, you can observe the state of the download preparation process. Once the process is finished, the file is automatically downloaded to the local machine. And once the download is finished, the file can be easily exchanged to a network share or other kind of repository. And, of course, once the vApp template is no longer needed, it can be deleted if the user has the required permissions. This concludes the demonstration of how to work with vApp templates in the vCloud Director tenant portal. Thanks for watching.